Hey everyone, this is Zach Hill with IT Career Questions and welcome back to the How to Get an Entry Level Role in IT Training Course. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the types of entry level IT jobs that you guys should be paying attention to and also applying for. The first entry level IT job that we're gonna talk about is Help Desk. You may have heard this job title being used before. It is by far the most widely known entry level IT job title in existence today. The Help Desk position is the very best job that you can step foot into as your very first job in IT. As you can see from the screenshot from Indeed.com, if you do a search for Help Desk, there are over 70,000 jobs where they are looking for somebody who can get into their help desk position within these organizations. So make sure that you guys keep help desk on your radar. It is the very best position that you can first get into when you're getting into IT. The next entry level type of positions that we're gonna talk about here are from MSPs, managed service providers. Managed service providers are essentially call centers, if you will, but they are very entry level. It's a lot of answering the phone and doing troubleshooting over the phone, and you'd be servicing a large quantity of users. And a lot of those users could be tied to other specific organizations, but a managed service provider basically handles a lot of their help desk or troubleshooting steps through one centralized organization or this MSP uh, stationary location that you would step foot into. So managed service providers, again, that's something that you should definitely pay attention to as you're looking for entry level jobs. As you can see here from this screenshot, there are over 20,000 jobs for managed service provider positions. And again, a lot of these are gonna be tied to entry level roles. The next entry level position that we're gonna talk about, which is a big one, is IT technician. This is more of a level one type of position, but you will see this position or some form of IT technician being used for entry level roles. And again, with the IT technician, it's much like the MSP roles or help desk roles, it's entry level. So just pay attention, keep this one on your radar as well. And then of course, as you can see from this screenshot, there are over 80,000 job positions open with IT technician being part of that or being one of the requirements is that you will be an IT technician for these specific job roles. Go on indeed.com, do searches for IT technician, for managed service providers, for help desk in your local area and see what comes up. The next type of entry level position that I'm gonna talk about here is through mom and pop IT shops. You may be familiar with these if you have one in your area. And these are just essentially a local shop run by somebody like you or me who supports residential IT customers, and a lot of the small business IT customers as well. They're commonly known as mom and pop shops. Uh, that's just a long term that's been used for many, many years, but it's just a local IT shop that is servicing your area. And it's a great place to get your foot in the door. And it's a great place where you can go in and see if you could do any volunteer work or an internship there, or see if they have an apprentice program. Now I'm gonna talk about entry level job titles because there's many different job titles in IT. And as we get to the next slide, it's gonna help pull things in and make a little bit more sense for you guys. But here are some common job titles that you would see for an entry level role. Now, I'm gonna go through these and then do a little follow up afterwards, okay? So help desk, help desk technician, help desk support, computer technician, desktop support technician, IT support analyst, IT support technician, IT support specialist, system analyst, or desktop support analyst. Now, the key thing to keep in mind here is for any type of entry level role, you may see any variation of these being used together. So you might see help desk support analyst as a entry level job title. You may see desktop support specialist as a job title. These titles right here are very skewed. All of the job titles in IT are very skewed, which leads me to this next slide. Here's pro tip number two. Job titles mean almost nothing in IT because of partly what we just talked about in our previous slide, but because HR departments and some IT departments even are pulling different job descriptions into job titles that maybe don't exactly reflect that job description, or maybe they're just trying to make something up to make it sound fancy. And this happens very, very often within IT. Job titles get kind of thrown out like they're nothing. And it's really important that you guys pay attention to how the job is being advertised and then what the job requirements actually are. Now, I know I said previously in our other video that no matter what the job requirements are, apply anyway. 
However, it's very important that you guys also pay attention to some of those requirements as well. And we're gonna talk about that in this slide here. In the SKU job titles, here's a job title that says Systems Engineer, Tier 1 Help Desk. Well, Help Desk is in parentheses, right? But your main title here, Systems Engineer, that's a pretty hefty job title. That, that's a job title that I would look at. Like I would initially look at like, okay, this might be something that I would be interested in. However, when they put help desk in parentheses, they're essentially saying that this systems engineer position is a help desk position. It's an entry level role. But why are they using systems engineer? They make that title sound very fancy, right? That's kind of what I mean by skewing job titles and paying attention to how they're being advertised and what the job requirements are. Now, if you go through these job requirements, and the first one here, it says, act as the first line for incoming customer communication um, to the services team. Frontline communication, that is help desk, that is entry level right there. So again, I really wanted to make a big emphasis on job titles being skewed and almost meaning nothing, but it's again, really important that you guys pay attention to how these titles are being delivered or advertised to you and understand what the requirements are for some of these entry level roles. And that's kind of what we talked about in our other video. And you would see within these job requirements for entry level roles, anything that kind of hints towards first line for incoming customer you know, service communications, anything like that. Uh, a lot of the job descriptions that we'll see, we'll go over, they really kind of highlight an entry level point of view. So that's it for this video in the course. I hope that this made sense to you. You guys have a better understanding of the job titles within IT, what they kind of mean and what they kind of don't mean and what you should be looking out for. Stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna be talking about the technical job requirements for entry level IT roles. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.